Hey everybody, hope this finds you doing well. Please excuse my voice, but we're going to keep pushing. So today we're going to talk about institutions that are showing more interest in the cryptocurrency space and a real big identifier that there is still a long way to go, but also it gives us signs and examples of the fact that cryptocurrency is a burgeoning market that is going to continue to grow and that we're still very much in the early stages. So if we watch what the so-called smart money does, which generally refers to institutional money, money that represents billions and trillions of dollars, if we see where they are going and where they're putting their investments, then that's a possibility that more money is going to go into that investment and we should also consider what we should do as the smart money jumps in. First, as usual, let's go through the crypto markets really quickly. First off, Bitcoin and Ethereum is seeing a major drop over the last seven days. And as we can see here, Ethereum is going down over 8% over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin, a little less so at about 2%. It's holding strong above 20,000 right now at 21,000 and Ethereum at that 1500 range. Now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum has been going up along with the stock market over the past three to four weeks. And and now we're starting to see a pullback in both equities and in cryptocurrencies. So it's not a surprise. We're getting ready to go into the Ethereum merge, which is much hyped up about. That's supposed to be happening sometime in the middle of September. So we shall see if we go on another run before that merge or if we've already seen that priced in. So we'll keep an eye on that for you as usual. And we'll do a quick run into the NFT space. And as you can see, as usual, Board Ape Yacht Club right up there towards the top. Right now, it's currently at number one over the last 24 hours. A Muta Swap, which is a new addition. Not sure what that is, but it's a new addition. A lot of times, anything that's new to the market can have a great run at the very beginning. We'll see if this is long lasting. Muta Ape Yacht Club, as you can see, number three. So Rare also continues to pump out those transactions, continues to pump out over $800,000 in sales over the past 24 hours. NFL All Day, a newcomer. We did an Instagram post on that this week. NFL All Day is very similar to the NBA Top Shot. It's also on the Flow blockchain, as you can see here, from Dapper Labs. And they are digital highlights of NFL MVPs and rising stars in the NFL. So that looks to be doing very well, doing over $700,000. And it's only been a few days for NFL all day. Other Deed still doing well. 10KTF, a project that is affiliated with Beeple, is doing quite well as well. The Stock Room continues to do pretty well at over $600,000 in sales. And Clone X with their affiliation with Nike, rounding out the top 10, and you see CryptoPunks at number 11. So let's get to our top story today, and that is BlackRock. BlackRock last week announced that they will be launching a private trust offering their institutional clients in the U.S. direct exposure to Bitcoin. So that means that BlackRock will be investing in Bitcoin and offering opportunities for their institutional clients, large money, just think big money clients, the opportunity to get exposure and invest into Bitcoin. Now, BlackRock, what's important about them is that they are the largest asset manager in the world. So they represent, let's go here quickly to their website. This is who they serve. They are the largest asset manager in the world. So they basically manage assets and are financial advisors for institutions and retail investors all around the world, including not only individuals and families, retail investors, financial advisors, they do financial advising. They also represent educational and nonprofit organizations, governments as well, insurance companies, and pension plans. So they manage the savings for all of these different areas and groups of people and institutions. And in total, they manage nearly $10 trillion in assets, which is, which is absolutely incredible. So that means that there's a possibility that that amount of money, 
Not the total of $10 trillion, but a percentage of that money could potentially be going into the cryptocurrency market. And when you think about it, the cryptocurrency market as a whole is only at, let's see, a trillion dollars currently right now as a whole. That's all 20,600 plus cryptocurrencies and they all make up only approximately $1 trillion. Bitcoin is at $400 billion. So that means that BlackRock is managing 10 times the entire cryptocurrency market. So sometimes you have to look at the macro perspective and get an understanding of where we are right now and how early we still are to cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrency investing. So with BlackRock, the fact that they're interested in Bitcoin, which is the top cryptocurrency in all of the world, goes to show that that could be a potential opportunity because not only is it the top cryptocurrency, but it has interest of institutions. It has interest of the larger money. If that And that means that if they're investing and trading, there's an opportunity that that asset could continue to rise over time. So as you can see here, despite the steep downturn in the digital asset market, as with equities and all other markets currently due to the downturn in 2022, we are still seeing substantial interest from some institutional clients in how efficiently and how to efficiently and cost effectively access these assets using our technology and product capabilities. So they're basically saying, hey, we've got the tech, we have the capability, we know how to manage assets, we see the interest, we're jumping in. So Bitcoin is still, as we know, more over 60% off the all-time high of 69,000 from last year, but it still goes to show that there's still interest to be, despite the volatility, despite the downturn, there's still institutions, there's still smart money that's interested in getting involved in Bitcoin. As you see here, Bitcoin is the oldest, largest, and most liquid cryptocurrency asset on the market currently, and it is the primary subject of interest from their clients in the crypto asset space. And this was an announcement made by the CEO, Larry Fink, who's been the CEO since approximately 19. 88. So it'll be interesting to see once we see that money start to flow into Bitcoin, how high Bitcoin can continue to rise. There was a little bit of a bump off of this news last week, but as we can see this past week, just like equities, Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of the other cryptocurrency assets had started to take a dip down. This also comes off the heels of the news that they have a partnership with Coinbase, which is the largest American cryptocurrency exchange, and they will be allowing their institutional clients to buy cryptocurrency, not just Bitcoin, but other cryptocurrencies down the line. So BlackRock is doing very well. We can look here. It's also a publicly traded stock. Year to date, it's down 20%. To be expected, everything is pretty much down. The market cap is at a, about $100 billion. But if you look at its performance over the past five years, as you can see, it has done very well over 71% over the past five years. And we'll now go to Coinbase. As you can see here, they are down over 70% year to date, not faring as well as the BlackRock stock. It has been very volatile, kind of going along the same lines as Bitcoin ever since it was introduced last fall. As you can see, it has gone over a quite steep decline. It was as high as $357 and now at $70. $4. Some people believe if you believe in Bitcoin, if you believe in the cryptocurrency space, that there's a high likelihood that it could continue to go back up to these levels, but we don't know how long that is going to take. So it'll be interesting to see now that they have that announcement with BlackRock, how much further BlackRock and Coinbase will be able to go up off of that. Another institutional uh, asset manager is Fidelity, also very, very uh, well known and has managed a lot of institutions and they also have their own cryptocurrency desk where they sell their own crypto industry and digital payments ETF. So they have already started to onboard their institutional institutional clients into investing into Bitcoin and they are now 
offering a crypto industry and digital payments ETF, as well as a metaverse ETF. And we'll take a look at what that crypto and digital payment ETF is. It's called, uh, I believe it's FDIG. As you can see, it's listed on the NASDAQ. It is down also, along with everything else, once again, at about 20, it's down 29% year to date. And I believe it's only been out, actually, it's only been out since April of this year. So it's only been a few months. But, so we'll definitely keep an eye out for FDIG to see how that does over the long term. But once again, we are still very early. As I mentioned earlier, we're only a $1 trillion market when you look at the entire cryptocurrency market. And that includes over 20,000 cryptocurrencies, 90% if not more of which is garbage. So we can really only take a look at the top 25 to maybe 50 cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin steady at approximately 400 billion right now. So we'll be curious to see what happens over the next several years. For us, it's going to be a long-term investment. And in the meantime, we are staying here, right here with you, bringing you the news and keeping you up to date on what's going on as we all continue to do our due diligence in this very interesting and burgeoning crypto market asset class. In the meantime, take care. We look forward to connecting with you soon. Please check us out at Network Chain on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, right here on YouTube. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.